how to turn fear into love, a mindful exercise. Hi, I'm Nordin Zwareg. In this short video, I am going to share a powerful tool to turn fear into love and improve the quality of your life. But before we get to the good stuff, please like and subscribe to my channel. This will help spread the word and allow so many others improve their health and well-being. You can always unsubscribe anytime you'd like. On the other side of fear, there is love. The next time you are about to say or do something that involves others, take a pause and ask yourself, Am I acting out of fear or out of love? It's a simple question, really, but the answer can be quite revealing. All too often, we let fear dictate our actions. We may stay silent when we see someone being treated unfairly because we are afraid of speaking up, or we may lash out in anger because we are afraid of feeling vulnerable. But what if instead of letting fear guide us, we act from a place of love. Love is the opposite of fear. It's compassionate, kind, and fearless. When we act out of love, we're not controlled by our emotional impulses. We're present and mindful of our words and actions. We're able to see others as human beings worthy of our respect and care. Are you someone who tends to react with fear and anxiety? in situations that are outside of your control? If so, you're not alone. In today's fa fast-paced world, it's easy to get caught up in the stress of everyday life and let fear take over. But what if there was a way to break free from the chains of fear and anxiety? My friends, there is a way, indeed, and it's called mindfulness. I stumbled upon mindfulness over 30 years ago while living in Singapore. Mindfulness changed my life. This concept has been at the core of all my writings and teachings ever since. Mindfulness is the most powerful tool I know that can help you respond with love instead of fear. By learning to be in the present moment, and observing your thoughts and emotions without judgment. You can see situation more clearly and find new ways to respond. When you catch yourself reacting with fear, take a few deep breaths and remind yourself that you have the power to choose how you react. It's time to stop reacting with fear and start responding with love. Too often, we allow fear and anxiety to control our lives, leading to poor mental health and decision-making. But what if we could train our minds to respond with love instead of fear? By practicing awareness and mindfulness, we can learn to observe our thoughts and emotions without judgment, allowing us to see fear for what it is an unfounded reaction that does not serve us. When we respond to fear with love, which is switching from a state of mind to a state of being, we open ourselves to new possibilities and opportunities. We become more creative, more compassionate, and more receptive to change. So my friends, the next time fear comes knocking at your door, don't let it in. Respond with love instead and watch your life transform. Thank you for watching. I hope this video is very helpful. As I said earlier, please like and subscribe. And also, visit my website at nordinezwareg.com. Nordinezwareg.com. See you in the next video.
Thank you.